Well, hello everyone. Here we are on our fifth uh, adventure, our fifth session with the Young Family Senior Forum. And as I was just explaining to some of the folks who are here early, we are gonna do something a little bit different today. So we're gonna go through everything that we know, um, it's like, like we did last week around the clock, um, I'm hoping to give tips on that. So we are gonna review what we have done so far. And if you have any questions, that's fair game. So we're gonna do that first, go through all of that. And then as you know, from both what I wrote and what we started last week, we have started Grass the Bird's Tail. And Grass the Bird's Tail is a signature movement in Yang family, uh, in Yang Tai Chi. Um, which was invented by the Young family. And the um, when I say the signature move, if you ever see grass the bird's tail, <laughs> it's 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 in all of the young forms. It's just like you're you're it's not gonna be I mean, all of the hand forms. It's it when you see it, you know you're doing a young form. So that's just sort of keep in mind. Um, so you have uh, this signature set of movements. It's sometimes called one movement, but it's many movements. It has uh, uh, one or two ward offs, and we did right ward off last week. And then it has uh, roll back, press, and push. And between ward off, roll back, press, and push, you have the four square energies, which are really key to Tai Chi. So right out of the bat, the signature move is just packed with all sorts of wonderful things. And it's really important. It's also something that every time you do it, you begin in a bow step and you end in a bow step, pretty much. I mean, we began somewhere else last week and we end up in a bow step, but then for the rest of the moves, pretty much, you are in the bow step. So this bow step becomes very, very important to us. And we need to know how to move in it and to take advantage of it in order to use all these energies. So getting comfortable in our bow steps is gonna be really important. So we're gonna spend some good time today on the bow step and we're gonna leap over the next two movement, two mini movements, roll back and, and press they are important movements. I don't mean many and otherwise, I just mean they're just kind of inside of this big grass the bird's tail set sequence. So we're gonna skip over them and go to push, which is a pretty elementary movement, but will teach us a lot about shifting, will teach us a lot about the bow step and give us this time to really establish our footwork um, as I think I've said before, your footwork is one of the, is, is just fundamental. If you don't have the bottom of your structure, if you're not solidly connected to the ground, you really can't do Tai Chi and you, you, you can't have good balance. You can't, everything doesn't work. So being able to really work on our footwork is going to be important for us today. So that's, that's what we're up to today. It's, it's, it's a big day. So I see some more folks have joined us. Welcome, welcome. Let us start by doing what we did last week. We're gonna go through everything we have done so far. I am, and when we first go through it, I am going to go through it with my gaze. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna look over my shoulder whenever I can. I'm gonna look over my shoulder so I can see what you're doing. And I may actually stop us and take us back a little bit. You know, take us back and say, let's do that again. And here, try this. So that we can start giving some tips on that part that we already know. Does that sound good to everybody? Are we good? All right, that's today. <laughs> Sorry for the long introduction. So we're gonna go around the clock and let's start, even though we usually start here at 12 o'clock, we're gonna just make 12 o'clock right here, put our feet together. You remember that in the senior form, we begin with our feet together. And go into prepare, putting all our weight on the right foot, 
releasing our left and stepping out shoulder width, toe, ball, heel, centering ourselves, going through that list of prepare and opening. Arms floating up and soft knees sinking as we come down. White crane spreads its wings, shifting left, stepping back into that empty step, circling right with the right hand, left and close, switch to ball touch, right arm up, left arm down, pushing down. Then our move last week, left, we right ward off, we're gonna shift our weight all to the right foot, circle our arms, pick up the left, set it down to the corner, bring everything to center, close step for that bow step we're gonna be really working on today, shifting forward, right arm up, and we have a bird on our tail, I mean a little bird on our right arm. We're gonna go through this all again today. Let's do this again, but this time from here, and I will look over my shoulder. Dang, I meant to do that so I could watch you folks. Here we are. In to prepare. Shifting our weight onto our right foot, releasing our left, stepping out, toe ball, heel, settling in. Let's just take a moment to run through what that list is. You have it in your head, that head lifting up, that long, long neck, those extended arms all the way to the fingertips, soft knees. And remember, you could just, you're ready. In fact, you're starting to sit, but you don't on a bar stool, right? Kind of that tailbone, those hips reaching down. You're very well grounded, your bottom is heavy. The top of you is very light and rotating our arms palm back as they float up to shoulder height for opening and then pushing down as we sink, our center sinks until we can't push anymore. White crane spreads its wings, shifting left. Make that little triangle with your hands. Step back one line, two sides into that empty step, circling our arms and shifting to the ball touch in the front. Right arm coming up, left arm down. Nice. And let's, oh, so we have to go, go to the next move, sorry. <laughs> All right, and right ward off. Shift your weight onto your right foot, arms start to move, turning to your right, pick up that left foot onto the corner, pivot on that right ball, arms come together and your foot steps out. Right arm up, left arm down. So your right arm is right in front, right in front here. See this? Yeah. So your palm, you could read, you know, it's right. Hey, where's your palm? Your hand. Yeah, that's better. That's better. It's better. It's in front of you. All right. So Let's talk about uh, uh, let's talk about first uh, white crane spreads its wings. Get a get a sense of sorry that was backwards to everybody right. That's, that's hard. I shouldn't do it right in front of you. Um, how are we feeling about white crane spreads its wings? Pretty okay. Pretty uncertain. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. Uh, <laughs> All right, here's what I want to do. I want to look over my shoulder while we're doing the first two moves, not the move we learned last week. 
So let's go here. I want to be able to watch you. So let's go and prepare. I'll look over my shoulder. Usually our gaze is straight ahead through these early moves, right? But I'm going to look over my shoulder and you're welcome to look at me if you want, or you can, you can just keep your, your, um, your gaze where it belongs, whatever works for you. So we're going to go through prepare, shifting to our right, stepping out to our left and shifting over. Yes, nice, looking good. And opening, those arms lifting up, moving up, and then sinking down. Push that, that floaty or ball into the water as you sink. All right, now do you feel, can you feel that you're still pushing? So I shouldn't, I shouldn't see hands like this. You, if you take a look at what I, over your shoulder for a minute, I should see hands like this. There's, we call this sitting your hands. See, they're pushing down. Maybe hard to see for some of you. All right, now we're gonna go on to the next. It's looking really good. I'm seeing a lot of folks bent knees. I see um, uh, folks look really well grounded, like you're really connected to the ground. I love seeing that. Okay. So now we're gonna shift our weight to the left. And as we do, our, our arms make a little triangle and the right arm is gonna circle up and our foot's gonna go back and the left arm then goes across. They go in opposite directions. As we come back, we close our arms and as they close, we pick up that foot and put it down as a ball touch, that left foot, and then the right arm comes up and the left arm comes down. Nice. All right. It's looking pretty good. Let me just see if I can show that beginning. I, I always am concerned when I try to do it backwards, but let's see if we can do it. Um, Let's see, usually my right foot goes back, right? Yeah, okay, so when we do the, I'm, I'm now mirroring you, right? So high five at your right hand, right? <laughs> That's right, okay. So you're gonna shift left and you see your, your hands kind of make, when I talk about making a triangle, it's like this, you see that? So we're like this and then we go like this, right? That's that first part of the move. From here to here. Then I freed up my right foot and it's gonna go back. My right hand is gonna start to circle up. And my left hand is gonna sort of just stay where it is. Maybe push down just a little bit. Then they're gonna go in opposite directions. Got it. As we, as we rock back, look at this foot. See the foot's come up. This left foot has come up. Then as we get our balance completely back and can pick up that front foot, we are going to close. And as we close, we've picked up that foot and we've put the ball down. Then we're going to put 30%. Your right arm is coming up on the outside, your left on the inside. And remember, it rotates. Your right arm rotates as your left arm pushes down right to your side. <laughs> it's hard because I'm, I'm using different arms to do it. That looks really, really good, everybody. Okay, we're gonna do it one more time. This way, just to give everybody a chance. All right. All right, from here, we're gonna go into prepare. I'm not, not gonna call out all of that move, just gonna, you're gonna do it. And then opening, our arms floating up. And then we sink down as we push down, feel like you're pushing, 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 nice. 
I love seeing those erect heads. Beautiful, beautiful. We're gonna shift to the left. And as we do that, right arm's thinking about coming across, right? It comes across, we step back, then we, we rock, we come all the way back as the arms go opposite directions. And then we close, step, right arm up, left arm down. We've almost got it. All right, let's try again. From here. Shifting left, right. Your right arm is gonna cross your body and start to circle up. Your left arm kind of stays there and then it goes left as your right arm goes right. They cross, they keep circling. When you close is when, when you change your footwork to the ball touch. Then as you put your 30% on, your right arm comes up and your left arm down. One more time. From here. Shift left. Right arm across your body and up, both in opposite directions. They just keep circling and close step. Right arm up, left arm down. All right. Now I want you to just take a look. Now I'm gonna be on the other, this is my right hand, right? Notice, notice where it is. It's like making sure someone doesn't bonk me on the head. Nice, nice, nice. Much great correction, everybody. See, it's like, it's like this. Nice, wonderful. We'll do it one more time here. From here, in the direction we would be going. Shifting left. And now... Right arm up and to the right, left arm across. We're coming back. Now we're picking up our left foot, putting it down and one up, one down as we put that 30% weight on the front foot, on the left foot. Let's move on. Shifting back our arms, circle. You pick up that left foot, put the heel down in the same place it was. Shift over. I'm pivoting with my right foot. You should be able to see that, right? Then bring my arms to center. We're closing and look, my foot comes at the same time. I'm balanced right here. I don't stop, but I'm just showing you. Then my foot goes out, goes out to shoulder width. Heel touch and forward. And as it goes forward, put a bird on your, uh, like a, a sparrow or something on your lower arm and show it to somebody, but pet its tail because it's your friend. Wonderful. Looking really good. Looking really good. So, it's hard, it's hard to see, you see, you see this, see how my arm is in the front. Here, I'm gonna do this this way. I think I can do this this way, <laughs> this part of it this way. So, um, so we're, if this is my, if this is my right arm, right? High five, right. High five. This is my right arm here. And I've closed my arm. So my left arm is up on the top. And I've just put this foot down, right? Just put this foot down with the heel. I'm going to go heel, ball, toe. We'll talk about that a little later. And, and then bend that knee. So I'm going to be moving forward then I am going to bring this up like this. And as I do, the other arm comes down. 
right here. Just like you put a little bird right here on this ledge. Now there's one thing that's gonna help you do this better. And that is, you see how my chest is turned this way? My hips are open to the corner and my chest is open to the corner. If you can get your chest open to the corner, then your shelf that the bird is on, nice, the shelf is gonna be towards the, um, it's gonna be across your front and it becomes easy to do that. You don't wanna be like this, it's all cramped. It's gonna be like this, okay? So show it to you. Well, I can't show it to you that way because <laughs> I should show it to you this way. So let's let's do it this way. So if if I let's see. Yes. So if we've closed our arms and step, remember we were coming across and we step and we've got our arms closed. This is my left arm. This is your right arm. I put the bird on my lower right arm, right? and my foot's out and I'm ready to move forward. I go heel, ball, toe, bend knee. You see how I'm open to the corner and my fingertips are kind of pointing. My elbow is right, right above my right knee. Right above my right knee. I'll show you from here, that final position here. See how I'm open? This is right ward off. Nice. So there's a tendency to do this, to close yourself in. Open, open. We're gonna work on that when we work on our bow step. This, Open, very open here to the corner. All right, so let's see if we can make that happen from here. So let's see, where were we? Our back foot originally, our right foot is pointing towards this corner. Left foot, one line, two sides towards 12 o'clock. And our right hand is up. Our left hand is pushing down. At the end of um, um, uh, white crane spreads its beautiful wings. So we are going to shift our weight back onto our right foot and start to circle our arms. Pick up our left foot and put our heel down. Shift our weight, pivot on that right foot, and our arms just continue to circle. Then everything closes towards the center right here, including your foot. And then it steps out as soon as everything passes center and you finish your close. Nice. Then heel, ball, toe. And as you do, heel, ball, toe, turn your upper body and your hips to the corner. Nice, nice. And this is what sort of, I don't know how to explain that. Kind of looks like, the way I think about it is really just imagine that bird on your arm. Imagine that bird on your arm and that you're gonna show it to somebody. So our right arm is up, palm out. Left arm's pushing down. And we're gonna circle those arms as we push back, all our weights on the back, pick up that left foot, put it down heel, shift, come to center and out with that right foot as we close, this is called a closed step. Heel, ball, toe, and then turn. Now we're turning towards the corner, but we actually keep looking right over that bird and out, and this is right ward off. 
Looking pretty good, everybody. Yeah. Questions about that? So take a deep breath. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is going to be easier if there are no if there are no questions. Um, I I want us to I want us to work. On, yes, Elaine, go ahead. Um, I apologize, but I need to leave. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry about that. That's absolutely fine. And yeah, anytime, folks. It's, you it, have a good it, it day. Works. You too. You too. See you next week. Yes. Uh, where is our tailbone at the end? Is it? Ah, really, really, really good question. It's it's in the center. So where can I can I defer that just a little longer? And we're going to talk sure. about bow steps. Okay. But first, I'm going to actually leap you into, as we talked about, I'm going to leap you into push. And we're going to do this. I, what I want, really want you to do, believe it or not, is I, is I just want you to all help me push a car. OK? Or, or you know, I'm going to push. And, and you're all going to push the, push the car in the other direction, I guess. OK? So, um, so I just want, I just want, just get yourself in a good push position, whatever that is for you, right? Put a good push position, right? A good push position. So it's just get ready up oh, there. Here's the car. Imagine the cars in front of you, right? Imagine the cars in front of you and however, and imagine it's a little slippery, right? It's like you're trying to push that car out of the mud or the snow, right? Yeah, there you go. I can see it in your bodies. Right? See that in your bodies, right? You're gonna push that car. Okay, I want you to get ready to push the car. Get, are you, it's a, it's a little slippery. Get your feet really attached to the ground. Are you good? Do you think you can push? I mean, there's a lot of us here to push it, right? So get ready to push it. I don't want anybody hurt. Are you, are you good? Okay, now I want you to stop, don't move. Drop your hands. I want you to look at where your feet are. Don't move them. Answer some questions for me. Are they right next to each other? Are they parallel? Are they no? What can 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 any of you describe what's going on either with your hands or with your ah, okay. So I'm seeing that they're that they're not they're not parallel. They're not parallel. Somebody's saying it's like this. Which is kind of like this, right? It doesn't, like, right? Right? They're not parallel, right? Are they, are they like like this, or are they like is one of them back and one of them forward? I'm seeing a lot of people think that they're one is back and one is forward, um, and and everybody's got a, a little different, but most people have one back and one forward. So let's. Move around a little, try again and see, see if that's how you feel. It's slippery. Okay, it's really getting slippery. I want you to imagine this, really slippery. Okay, here's the car. We gotta get the car out, right? So everybody line up next to the car, whichever is your preferred foot, you know, you know how you have a preferred foot. I'd rather do it now, I wanna do it this way, you know? Just do whatever you have to do. Get ready to push, really mean it. And then look down at your feet and see where you are. Is it the same this time, kind of? Nope. Okay. Er Erica has, oh, oh my goodness. So before it was more like this, and this time it's like this. Which felt better? The second time or the first time, if it changed? Hmm. Maybe we need to do it one more time. Okay, it, it really matters. <laughs> I, I have some, I have a great story someday about Hadrian's wall and, and in the middle of a gale and trying to push a car out. <laughs> okay, so get ready, get your feet set. It's slippery, there's a lot of mud, you know, get yourself hooked in there, find what works, you know, no roots under you. And yeah, okay, I can feel it, I can feel it. Don't you feel attached all the way down? 
Isn't that interesting? You feel like attached all the way from the ground up into your hands. This is how you ought to feel in Tai Chi, to be honest. Now look down at your feet. Same thing going on? Yeah, yeah, okay. Your body knows. Your body knows what's a good position to be balanced, like on a slippery surface, to do hard work and to make energy happen, <laughs> to, to, to be strong. And what you all did, whether initially or eventually, is you got into some version of a bow stance. You didn't always stay exactly like this and like this. Some of you started out kind of like that. But rather, you went in a multitude of directions, right? You had, you had one, one foot in one direction and one in another. And a lot of you put one foot back and one foot forward. And increasingly you did that. And you felt stronger that way, right? Am I right? I, I know we're, we're, you know, we're, we're on YouTube. And not everybody wants to talk. <laughs> All right. So what you did is you got yourself into a bow step. I want you to just put into your head that it felt like the natural thing to do. To push that car, you got yourself into a bow step. So when a bow step doesn't feel natural to you, go back to push. Always go back to push. And, and find the way your body can make it natural. So let's talk about that bow step. You know, we were just doing one a minute ago, right? With a Tai Chi move, but let's see if we can do one with push. So first of all, I want you to remember what we said a bow step was like. It's shoulder width apart. And here's how you get into one. So if, you, if, you're, if you're shoulder width apart, and I don't care which direction you go at this point, right? You can, you can mirror me or not. Um, and you, you shift to one side, and then you release a foot. Oh, wait, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, you shift to one side. And then I want you to turn out one foot to 45, the other foot to 45. And then I want you to shift all your weight over to that foot. Shift all your weight over to that foot. Be very tall and balanced in there. And then I just want you to pick up the foot that doesn't have any weight and unfold it on that railroad track on that line, unfold that foot to wherever it goes. Don't reach out like this and, you know, just, just pick up that foot, unfold it and make it touch that line. So it's kind of straight, but it's not too straight. And then I want you to, this is tricky. I want you to imagine that like, I don't know, there's some kind of electronic thing that goes right up the center of your foot right up the center of your foot. And it's gonna go right up the center of your line. Right up, so heel, ball, toe. And as you do, you're gonna move your spine. This is getting towards your question, uh, John. You're gonna move your spine towards the middle as you do that. Cause it was all over here, right? Your Tai Chi pole was all over here. Yeah. And you're going to heel, ball, toe, move it to the center line. Then what you're going to do is really bend this knee, straighten the back knee, and turn. Turn your hips. That's like a freebie. <laughs> and and now, now you've got a bent knee in front, and your back leg is straighter. Okay? So I'm going to do it this way now for you to, to kind of see. So we were here, we're gonna, in this case, we're shifting to the right. Oh no, I'm sorry, we're gonna shift left first. We're gonna turn out our right foot. Then we're gonna shift to the right. 
and get all the weight off the left. And then we're gonna unfold it. But when we do, we're gonna make sure there's still these railroad tracks. So make sure you, you, it's gonna feel like it's going off towards the angle, which can make you wanna put your toes to that corner because initially that's how your foot, sort of your leg feels like it's going off to that corner. But you're gonna make sure it's pointed this way so that you can, as you move your Tai Chi pole to the center, so your spine, John, is in the center, then you get it to the center between your two, your, your two railroad tracks and bend your knee and, and, and turn open. Open to the corner. Let's try it this way. Let's see. This time we're gonna we're gonna sh shift to the left and turn out our is that a different foot? I'm confused about which foot we did last time. We did left Wait, if it's last left, time. We 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 stepped out with the left. Yes. Oh, okay. So then we're gonna shift to the right and turn our thank you. <laughs> turn out our left. You're welcome. <laughs> and then we're gonna come over and sort of sit on that left foot with all our weight and then pick up that right foot and put that heel out, just unfold it nice and then let it, let it kind of mush down that line. It's like, think of it as, as making contact with the floor. As you do, you turn your whole torso and in and your hips at this point. Nice, that allows me to see it. Now, we're gonna do an exercise. We're gonna do an exercise and it doesn't matter. You can mirror me or not. So I'm gonna do it towards you and you can do it towards me. So get to the back of your space and we're just gonna do some, some walking. So it's called Tai Chi walking and it's all in a bow step, but it'll help you get that, that center line and that turn. So we're gonna shift over to this side, turn out this side, shift back over, release this foot, be very tall and just unfold it. The heel's touching now. Now, what am I gonna do? Move this Tai Chi pole to the center as I move heel, ball, toe, see it going towards the center and starting to bend my knee and I'm turning. And the turning of my hips puts this hip forward, this hip back and John, where is my spine? It's right along this center line. When my hips are open like this, my tail, <laughs> My tail at this particular moment with my hips open like this, my tail is out towards the corner. Does that make sense? If I had a big dragon's tail, it'd go out towards the corner. You got it? Because I wasn't sure quite what question you're asking. Now, this one is, is bent. This one is straight, That's right? Cool. The back one. So we're gonna we're gonna bend the back one and straighten the front one. And then why don't you spend the front one and straighten the back one. And do you see how when you do that, your hips turn? Put your hands on your hips. See that your hips can turn when you do that. Also notice the feeling of the weight, right? When you straighten your back leg, your front leg, and you turn a little, just keep on that center line, your back leg feels a little more heavy, right? Maybe 60% of your body weight. Now, come forward and turn your hips. It feels a little heavier on your front foot, right? Maybe 60% of your body weight. Turn part, part, I mean, make both of them bent part way. You're kind of 50-50. This is how you do in an earthquake, right? Imagine an earthquake right now. This is your earthquake position, right? Right here, right here. 
it's like, yeah, this is the earthquake. My knees are bent. I'm, I can go in any direction, right? This is what a bow step is good for. It has weak points. We'll go through those in a minute. I want to keep moving. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna come out here. We're gonna just turn, turn, shift our body, push with that back foot, peel it off the ground. I want you to practice this at home. Bring in that foot. Out it goes again, unfolds. Remember, it's going to lay itself down, lay itself down. Heel, ball, toe, turn your hips, right? You're in the center. Bent in the front, kind of straight in the back. Then straighten the front a little bit. Get your weight on your, your heel pad more. Pivot out. Move. How about we just go stand in the corner? Stand in the corner. Stand in the corner. Stand in the corner. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Now go out. Take another step. Put it down. Move your Tai Chi pole over. Turn. Nice. And remember, we can we can straighten the front. Yeah, do that. Now we're gonna straighten the front a little bit, get into that kind of double bent position, turn out this front foot and go stand in the corner. How are we gonna do that? Keep pushing, push, push with that back foot. Get your Tai Chi pole over there till you feel all comfortable. Bring that foot in and out. This is called Tai Chi walking and it's a footwork we have to know for this form because we're gonna do it later. And I want you to practice, there's something we call the bubbling well. It means that you get your whole foot on the ground and the best way to do that is to feel like there's this line in your foot I talked about and there's a line on the floor and the two are like magnets for each other. So you're gonna start putting that foot down. It's just gonna go down. And once you pass that center line, you're definitely open. Check in a bow step, your front knee always in line with your toe. Your back knee always in line with your toe. What you don't want is this. Watch my back knee. Do you see that? Collapsing in. Do you know what happens then? If you, if you have to go back on that knee, you torque that knee. And pretty soon you don't have good knees. Okay, so you open here. Remember how we did knee bumps? <laughs> You want to make sure you're open. You want to make sure your hips are to the corner. I'm going to add this one more thing in this exercise. We're going to do this. Okay. So here we are. My front knee is bent. My back knee could be bent a little bit or straight, right? I mean, I could, I could, I could do this while I, you know, I could do all sorts of things here. But I just want you to. So we're not just doing this. Watch this. We're doing this, this, this. Nice. And we're allowing, we're doing it actually from here. We're taking, it's like somebody turned us, like we were a doll and we turned ourselves this way and this way and we let our arms go. Nice. Nice, okay. Now to finish this exercise, we're gonna go this way and we're gonna push, stand in the corner and unfold out. What happens now? You've gotta get this Tai Chi pole to the center and heel ball toe forward. And once you get to the center, turn, 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 bend this knee. Check your knees, knee, the back leg's kind of straight. 
Front one's bent, you can still see your toes. Knees are in the right direction. And swing. Because some of the things we do in a bow step, we won't have the very top of us open. So we wanna learn that the top of us can be towards the front. For example, in push. So let me teach you push. And we can start, I have to get a drink of water. So I don't remember if I've mentioned the gorilla. I've mentioned sitting on a bar stool, but um, let's see, we're gonna do it this way because we're doing grass the first tail. But we could do it either way because there's two pushes in the senior form and uh, one of them we call a push and one we don't. And one's with the right foot forward and one's with the left foot forward. So if you are, if you are like beside me and we're pushing the car together, our right foot is forward um, in this uh, bow stance. And um, what I want you to do actually, oh, we could go into here, put your arm up here. Let's get in a good bow stance, right? Here, from here, we are going to shift a little to the right and our left foot is gonna go out to the corner. Gonna shift all our weight onto the left and then we're just gonna unfold straight for our right foot, right? Heel, ball, toe. And as we do, we bring that Tai Chi pole to the center and then we turn our hips, okay? turn our hips. So you, I realize you're having to look over your, over your shoulder now. I just want you to put your right arm here for now. This is, there you go. Good. Right arm. Nice. And this is what we just learned, right? If you look over your right shoulder, you're going to see, you can really see how the hands are now. See, I could, I could touch my middle forearm, but I'm going to bring it back just a, a, a fist distance. Nice, looking nice. Now, we push doesn't start from here. It starts from here, but just bring this foot, this hand up and put the palm on your middle forearm. I want you to put your, so get back in, um, in uh, right word off, right arm, elbow over your, over your knee, the fingertips pointing to the side. And, and your hands here, nice. Oh, palm towards you, palm towards you. Right palm towards you, yeah, there you go. And then you take your left palm and your left palm is gonna come up onto your arm like this. Up onto, yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Everybody's got it, everybody's got it, All right. Now, this is the end of press. This is the end of press. And you'll notice in order to get your palm here, you're not quite as, your, your chest is not quite as turned to the corner. This is the end of press and you don't know press yet. We're gonna do that next week, all right? But here's the beginning of push from press. We are going to let that palm slip over the top of our right arm as our other palm turns down. So just look at me for a second, like this, like this. And why does it do that? Because I'm gonna turn my chest forward and just let the hands slip over each other and reach out. Nice, nice. Let's go back to that. Here's our right ward off position. That bird sitting right here bird sitting right here. We've got our hand here, that's right ward off, but we're gonna bring that hand up here because we're gonna put that palm right against that middle forearm. Nice. Now what we're gonna do is turn our shoulders to the right. And when we do, 
our our right arm is going to go palm down our left arm is going to go palm down too and they're just going to go left arm goes over the right and they separate nice one more time from here palm here that's right that's right you got it you got it and you're just going to open your arms and let the left arm slip off until they are parallel each other. And what you're going to do right here is you're contacting somebody else's shoulders. Mm -hmm. And you're going to pull them back as you bend your back knee. And come over the top over the top, like coming over the top of a garage, like coming over the top of the garage when you get back or a ball. And then it's gonna come down. This is your push position for the car, isn't it? Right here. Yeah, that's where you wanna get. If you don't get to the push position for the car, you're not in push. Then you're just gonna push the car, push. <laughs> all right <laughs> so that's all push is so from here from here take this palm the left palm and put it right there right in the middle that's right that's right Finger, fingers kind of up up at an angle right then you're just gonna turn your chest to the right and when you do, that left hand's just gonna sort of caress the top of your other arm as they separate, beautiful. Then you're gonna imagine kind of that you're, you're not gonna change your hands, but you're gonna bend your elbows and imagine you're pulling somebody back. Push with that front foot, bend the back and come back and down into that push position. You're gonna pull them into you basically and then push up the diagonal. So you're gonna push them and launch them <laughs> right off the ground, up the diagonal, all right? Nice, that was a nice push, Sue. <laughs> all right, here's our arm, here's our palm, palm in the center of our arm. Our chest is not really to the corner, but it's not square yet. So what happens? We square our chest and our arms come out. We come back over the garage door or the ball. Nice, down in the push position, feel the push in your back foot and push up the diagonal. That is push. All right. Now, now that I've made it, hard, that's right, now that I've made it hard for you. You can do it on both sides. That's your first shifting of weight. So what we're gonna do right now is, I realize we're just about at the end of class. We've done a lot on, uh, on this and we'll, we'll definitely do more later, but you've had your first shifting. And what I said before is really, really true. Whenever the bow step doesn't feel right, you're gonna, you're gonna learn to go back to push. <laughs> Say, what's wrong with this bow step? I've gotta feel like I could push that car because that's where you're gonna find your bow step, okay? And that's where you're gonna find your balance in the bow step. Let's do everything we know before we stop. Prepare. I'm just going to call the early moves here. Opening. Just naming them, not telling you how, because I think you've got these. White crane spreads its wings, shifting left. Right arm circles up, we step back, arms are going in the opposite direction. 
I'm changing my footwork as I close and the right arm rises and the left pushes down. Right ward off, shifting back, freeing that left foot, arms start to circle, pick up that left foot, put it down to the corner. Everything is coming to center and then out, close, step. This is a bow step, heel, ball, toe, open to the left. Have that bird. Now take that left hand, bring it up, Put it on your uh, on your metal forearm, and now turn your upper body as you put your arms out and push, shift back, straighten that front leg, come over and feel that push, push out. Nice. Let's just flatten our palms and push one more time. Back over the ball or the garage door and push out, up. One more time. You're pulling somebody into you. They're stumbling back. You've got them, push them so they really fly. Nice, nice, all right. Any last questions about that? You worked hard today. <laughs> Congratulations, everybody. Um, I think we have done plenty, so we should close class. There's no more questions. Have a really great week. <laughs>